Hey, oh, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I am your host, Mino. Isn't that lovely? This is the view I want to have. So we are going to be building our house right here. Doesn't that look nice? So the plan is to build here. This is obviously back to our home island. We have done pillaged the procedurals around us. And my buddy Willie has been working on a island called One Particular Harbor. Jimmy Buffett fan. <laughs> it's very nice. I've gotten to tour it, but there was uh, some loot on there too. So we have extended our plans. I know that I'm going to build some stuff over here. Uh, furnace, brick station, things like that. Uh, the house will go here and the farms will go behind the SOS sign that I really want to keep. Unfortunately, I was not too smart and piled everything here. So, these logs will need to be processed into some planks. We've gotten a small start here. We've got some coconuts over there. We need to build some water stills for our farm. That's what that'll be for, that and the palm. Right now, as you can see, I have found some clay we are going to need to get a little bit more. There's some on the back end of this island. Uh, pretty easy to get. I can go snag that in a little bit so that we can finish this out. And I want to see if I can build a brick foundation for my home. I'm not sure I'll be able to get all of it, but hopefully I'll at least be able to get some of it. It looks like a lot of clay, but you will be amazed at how quickly this will go away. Uh, so I do have a feeling I'm going to have to at least get what's on this island to finish out. The brick foundations, if I remember correctly, are four bricks per foundation piece. We'll need 20 foundation pieces. Uh, so I'm not sure I have 80 pieces of clay to spare to make the 80 brick scrap. We do have a few brick scrap to start. Hopefully with, these, with this island I can finish that out. But the first things first, we've got to build us our basics. Let's start with the furnace. Uh, that is what we're going to use to process clay. Oddly, clay is a very limited resource, so you have to build a lot of things to make it useful. Uh, it's best to build it as soon as you start collecting it, but uh, don't expect to use it a lot. It'll go away very fast. Uh, plan well what you want to do with it. Uh, let's see, we'll put the furnace here so it's out of the way of the house. And we can put the brick station right by it. Yeah, let's do that. Brick station there, we'll need three planks for that. That's easy enough, we still have several of those left. The corrugated I'm going to use for the farms. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use them for boat foundations or floor foundations. Really, it's just aesthetics and... Oh, missed one. Anyway, I'm, I'm more of a fan of different looks. I like to go for the more islandy feel, and so those work fantastic for the, for the farm we need. Let's see, let's craft our brick station. And put it right there. Great. Now, the last thing with clay that we need, hopefully we have enough, let's find out. It's going to be the fuel still. Yes, buy one. Alright, so we'll need two lashings, not a problem. Oh, it looks like we have to build another fire pit. So, let's get that out of the way. I'm assuming that uh, that means that's where you're putting it. So, let's decide where we want this. Oh, we need another rock. There we go. Um, kind of blocks the entrance here if I do that. Let's set it a little ahead of the furnace over here. up to fire. 
There's our fire pit, so we got that out of the way. Uh, two planks, four sticks, and a jerry can. We do have some of that to spare all the way around. So we can go ahead and get this part out of the way. Fantastic. Let's just craft that. Fuel still. There we are. Okay, so this will be our little processing area over here. Uh, we have our plank station here. I don't want to tear it down. Hmm. We still need a tanning rack and a loom. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. lashings. Yep, one left. And I know it'll take more than one to build whichever other... Yeah, loom. Okay, let's put the loom right there. Perfect. Now we're going to build our tanning rack. Yeah, four lashings. I think I have some in here, though. Oh, perfect. Four lashings. And four sticks. Fantastic. All right, that should take care of most of our basic needs as far as making one thing be another. Looks like I have one piece of clay left. I'm going to go ahead and shove that back. Is there one with two, maybe? That one's full. That one's full. 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 Ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So I am going to pull out our brick scrap, pull out the clay, and run it over here to make some bricks. And take these logs, or at least a good chunk of them, and start converting them into planks. I've got a little bit of work ahead that's going to be quite boring for you to sit through, so I'm not going to make you sit through it. <laughs> I will uh, pause it here, go ahead and get that done, and we will be back in just a bit. Okay, it is the next day, uh, morning, and we have bricks. I used all the clay that I had. Unfortunately, we do not have enough. We have 56. Uh, the plan was for 80. I am not going to argue. So we have 14 foundations, in essence. The only thing we're going to need to build is hammers. Doot. So I have a hammer. We're going to get some bricks, and we're going to lay out a foundation. We're going to have to rethink how it was going to be laid out. I'm thinking I'm going to do... Let's see how many of these I can take. I think I'm going to start down three wide and four long for 12 of them, and then do a little off-shot entrance. So let's find a high point we can have some uh, stability for. This looks pretty good. Building. And we're going to do brick foundations. The hammer is required for building. Oh, I see. <laughs> I've carried so much I can't grab my hammer. There. There we go. That should solve our problem. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to face this way because I want to get that moonset, sunset area. That looks pretty good. 
Yeah, lean out over there, and eventually we can build a little porch on the back. That could be nice. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we know we want it at least this long. Because there's going to be a stairwell. Yeah. Okay, let's do let's double this up. We know that is gonna be a minimum that we will want. There we go. Gardens are going to be over here. This is my work area, so I think I'm going to build a little caddy corner door over here. More bricks. We had just enough. I want to make sure I didn't miss that one. So wrap them back up. Uh, if you're wondering, these are piles of tin so that I could count them, uh, make sure that I had enough. Now the only thing clay is useful for outside of these brick foundations and the fuel still, which we already have, is water bottles. Thanks to one, in one particular harbor uh, by my buddy Willie, I have water bottles right there. So I don't need to make those. I used every bit of clay that I had to get these going. Okay, so... This will be... A little niche. one. I think dead on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to need to put uh, some walls up. And I like the look of the wood wall. Uh, I know the plank wall or the corrugated wall, brick wall, all that should be sturdier in theory. Uh, it does not make a difference, and I really like these wood walls. So we're going to go with the wood walls. And this is where the sticks come in. As you can see, I kept a few logs out, because I'm not sure if I'm going to need more planks or sticks at the end of the day. And once you've processed a log, that's what you have, so thought it best to save that until we knew what we were doing with them. Hmm. There is a good view of this on the door. Yeah, the door I want here because I'm going to have a wrap around, and I want to put a window here so I can see. Do I want a window here too? Let's put two windows in the middle there. So we'll start with a wall here and a wall here. There we go. And now we're going to put uh, the window version here and here. And here. We're going to want the doorway right here. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, probably I would think one window, one wall. That would probably look pretty right. There we go. Over here on this wall, there's really not much to look at over here. Hmm. No. 
we don't need any windows over here, I don't think. We're not going to be doing much with it. Other than, uh, yeah, because, uh, oh, out of sticks. I want to end the porch right around there, so, yeah, there's no need for that. We can uh, make that solid, and that way we can put some lights on it or something later on. So grab uh, as many sticks as I can here. Now, right now, if you'll notice, I'm just putting up the frames. Uh, the reason being, I'll show you here when we go back. To assemble these, you have to actually pound them in with the hammer. So, for instance, this brick foundation. And you'll watch that meter go up. You have to sit here and just pound away until it looks like what you want. Now, keep in mind... It will look finished before it is actually finished. There. So you can know what it will look like. Up until you are completely done with it, you can take an axe and break it back down and get most of your materials back. I, I, I know once it's finished, you can still use the axe to break it down and get some materials, but you do get more if you don't quite finish it. So, for instance, if this I wasn't sure I wanted to make a wall I could do right up to here and know what it looked like break it down if I decided I wanted to do something different and still get the majority of my materials back so it's very handy until you are pretty sure what you want not to do anything with that um, or not to finish it rather Getting distracted thinking about finishing this up myself. So, back to what we were doing. We'll put those frames there. Now, back here... Yeah, I, I, I do think a porch is in order so that we can look out over the beach. So, let's set a, a window one first right here. We don't want the porch to take the whole thing, do we? We might. We'll figure that out later. Uh, first we need our wooden arch. There we go. And now we'll... F yeah, let's put a window on each side. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we'll finish it up with some plain walls here. Great. Yeah, that's going to be okay. So now we'll go inside. <laughs> As you can see, it just walks right through. But the last thing we're going to want to do on this floor before we call it is steps, which, yeah, the plank steps are going to look nicer. So let's go get us some planks. Do we have any sticks left? Yeah. We'll drop those back off for now. We'll be picking them up again soon enough. Uh, let's see, sticks. There we go. And let's get some planks. We'll need these anyway because the upstairs, I definitely do not have enough to do a, a brick flooring. So we are going to do plank flooring which will take these anyway. There we go. We're going to run into the same problem. There we go. Alright, perfect. Okay, run back over to the house. We are going to build... Our plank steps. Let's put them back against. Uh, let's see. There's window. Nope. That's going to be our. Oh yeah. I'm getting sun exposure here. Let's put it. Will it snap there? Perfect. That way, our door to the outside porch area. Did I just drop that? There we go. Trying to cool off. Once we have the house, that will no longer be an issue. 
So that'll be very good. Anyway, uh, I will uh, let you guys go here for just a little bit while I finish up putting those uh, the upstairs flooring in. And we'll come back and finish up the framing. Be back in a few when I'm a little bit cooler. And welcome back. We have a pretty good start, it looks like. That is our general structure. It's starting to look pretty good, except for hammering everything in, which I will not make you sit through. Now we need to start on our farms, which we have a little bit of room over in this direction. This is where I was wanting to place it. Uh, the corrugated scrap is what we'll be using. Uh, however, we need to switch out our tools a little bit. Uh, the hammer is not needed for farming. What is needed is the hoe. So, right there. And we'll put our hammer up, and we don't need our axes right now. Uh, the lashings... Uh, I don't know, hold on to that. Okay, let's get some corrugated. This is all we have. Hopefully we have enough to do what we want to do. Uh, ideally, I want to set up 14 uh, farming plots. If I can get 14 farming plots out of these, I will be happy, happy. As you can see, we've already burned through pretty much all of our wood. There are no sticks left, and that is the extent of the logs, and there are no bricks left. So, <laughs> uh, we don't have much to spare if this does not work. Now let's start her up. Uh, put the first one... I want to be able to look at it from the house, so... I don't want to bump into this either. Yeah, let's move some of this stuff out of the way here. See what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Start the first one right about... Yeah, we'll put our stills right there. So right here looks good. Alright, let's get, uh, 14 is the goal, so let's just do four buys to start. Here. The beach isn't exactly even. Uh, this will be good enough. Yeah, it's not perfect, but, uh, it'll do the job. It'll do what we need it to do. Alright, we'll put a little walking space between them. And let's try to set us up for more. Something in the way. Oh. We don't want to lose you. Let's put this lantern over here. Don't want to lose that. We still got a few left. I think we're actually going to make this. Ironically, for all the setup we were doing, dodging storms, once we get these uh, ready and put the plants in them, storms are exactly what we will want. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all of this set up and get all of our back work done so that we can have our stills and everything else ready to go. And then we get a nice rain shower so we don't have to do all of the legwork to get the water in here because it's pretty demanding. When you first plant those things, it, it takes a little bit. Okay. That's eight. enough. Look at that. We are going to be fine. Okay. Let's... Yeah. 
Yeah, let's put some stills over here. So let's move you out of the way for a minute. Yeah, we're gonna have to move you guys. Scoot, 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 scoot. One of those moments I'm very glad we use most of that. Alright, last one. Perfect. There we are. Do we have enough? Uh, one more? No. No, I don't like the sounds of that. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Okay, so let's get these palm out of the way. We're going to want this space to set up a few water stills. I'll be back over with this mess. Good, good. Uh, the corrugated scrap, I'm just going to throw that on the boat right now. Uh, we don't need that. Oh, look, I had a couple of sticks. Uh, the hoe goes back into the toolbox. This one, yes, because I left you, and I want you, and you can go back in. We are going back into build mode. A blast from the past. The water stills. Let's see. I want one, two, three, four... I think we might can do five. The lashings are going to be the hard part. Uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, we still have enough. We still have enough. I just need to make sure to keep my personal water supply going until uh, we can get the rest of these going. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, get some palm cut down. I, t I got these when I got the wood. I uh, went ahead and collected them because I thought we could go ahead and use them for not only the water still construction, but we can go ahead and use them to fill the water stills initially so that we don't have to worry about doing a big, big lashing hunt right out of the gate. Uh, or not lashing, but a uh, fibrous leaf hunt. Yeah, that should get us started, yeah? Let's get one more. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have our palm. Now we need cloth. And I know I've set enough cloth back to do this. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Great. Oh, and here's where the problem comes in. I'm going to need 10 lashings so that I can make uh, enough of those coconut flasks. These guys. Not enough room in inventory. Okay, go ahead and drop these guys for now. pretty soon, so let's go ahead we're going to have to do these uh, looks like we'll have to get four initially yeah just to have the inventory space inventory can get really tight on this game quickly Four. I want to 
take another one out of that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have plenty of, uh, plenty of those fibrous leaves I'm going to need to find <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, I did store back some rocks. I knew I was going to use them. Uh, the question is where I stored them. Here we go. Four. Fantastic. Oh, I'll need 12 it looks like. Uh, wow. Alright, so let's set the water stills up. Uh, let's use this empty space. I'm not going to be doing anything with it. Great. Now we're going to need more rocks. Cool. Put a couple here, and then I'll dump my, uh, yeah, let's put a couple here, and then a couple here, and then I'll put all of my, uh, water bags and the like right here. Oh, it's wanting me to cool down. Give me just a second. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to cool down to avoid damage. Unfortunate. We were on a roll. Let's see where we're at. Uh, it's 3 o'clock. Wow, it's 3 o'clock. So the SPF's going down anyway. Uh, warned me just in time, it looked like. So that'll be 4. Don't think 4 is going to be enough, though. It's not going to be. No, we're going to need one more. At least one more. I'm going to try to start with five and keep my fingers crossed that that's enough, but I am prepared for the idea that uh, we're going to have to do a little bit extra. Here we go. Uh, to keep the farm going once I get all the plants in the ground. Hopefully five will do it though. There we go. Can I walk in between these? Yes I can. And I can walk in between those. Great. And we'll dump all of our stuff in there. Fantastic. So this is where I'm going to keep all of those thingies. This is where I will put the lantern back for now. So it can have a nice little home and I can know where everything is here. Drop you guys. And we'll drop all you guys. And you guys are ready to collect. Fantastic. I will fill these with uh, some palm fronds. Go look for some fibrous leaves for my own personal supply. And hammer in my house so that the sun thing isn't going to be a problem. And with that, it looks like we have our farming plot ready to go. We have our water supply ready to go. And our house, as soon as we hammer everything in, will be ready to go. So by the next episode, we're going to have something to spruce up, we're going to have something to plant, and we will be ready to make ourselves a little home away from home to help the time go a little easier while we're figuring out how to leave the islands. Thanks again for joining. I hope you guys have a great day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you happen to watch it, and I will see you on the next episode.